check my test. Seven eighteen. <coughs> this camera is supposed to go to Kamarinis Norte. Any of you come from Kamarinis Norte? Because the pastor who preaches in Albay near the volcano retired. He's retiring to Kamarinis Norte. And instead of bringing all the studio equipment, we just set up a new one and try to upgrade 4K. Because they have like 5,000 views already. No, not 5,000 views, 5,000, yeah, 5,000 views and viewers and review. So it's like a big church online. Bakit ang tagal ng internet, no? Oh, I have no internet. AUP is no internet. How are we going to teach e-commerce when there's no internet? <laughs> no problem. There is another internet in your cell phone. <coughs> no, I'm supposed to like this. No okay. I just want to show you their channel. <coughs> and if people go to heaven because I bought a camera and because they use the camera, then I will have points in heaven. Right, Revelation 22, 12. For behold, I come quickly. My reward is with me <coughs> according to everyone as his word shall be. Okay. So there is a reward. Yes, sir? There is an accountant in heaven who is very accurate. <coughs> Whether we do foolishness or we do good, but we are not saved by camera. We are not saved by good ways. Right, sir? We are saved by grace. You know why? Because we cannot afford. <laughs> we don't have enough money, enough good works. You know why we are not saved by good works? Because we are supposed to do good. Diba? You are supposed to do good. And then you do good. Do you think you can be forgiven for the foolish things you have to do? No, because we are supposed to do good. By default, we are supposed to do good. Are you okay, sir? Okay, I was going to tell you about solid rock. Simple camera, old camera, simple, uh, yeah, so they have about four, that's about 5,000 views every seven, seven days. It's just simple. In the house of the missionary couple, the pastor is preaching and recording. The volunteers record. We have video switcher, two or three cameras. We upload. No, no, no points. I'm not asking you to subscribe for points. <laughs> and this is not my channel, this is their channel. This is their ministry, I'm just helping with some of you. So, if you know a ministry that tries to preach and has ugly equipment, I know you have uh, better equipment, so I will not help you. Yeah. I have uglier equipment, older 10 years old equipment. Because I have only uh, cheap, uh, I like to buy cheap things. It is still good, but it is old. Yeah, GH4. I'm still new in, in this, uh, I, I use big cameras, not the small ones, so I'm new, I don't know how to use it, I'm experimenting. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm helping these guys to preach in the internet, and they have quite a lot of Me, they're only, <clears throat> oh, you want to see my channel? Ah, you are curious. I have, yeah, I see almost, uh, Overtook, it overtake me in subscribers. Hope Channel overtook me a few years ago. It used to be, I used to claim that I was the number one uh, Seventh day Adventist if you count subscribers in the Philippines. But Hope Channel overtook me, I think in 20, 20 70 or something. Now PIC almost overtake me. 
But I have them, I have them, so give up. You have points in heaven for helping everybody. If they if they get baptism, since I have them, I have also points, right? That's how we collect points, by helping everyone. Anyway, we are not the boss. They are not the boss. God is the boss. Amen? We are just, we are just the, you know, the divine, I don't know. We are the branches connected to the vine. And so it is all voluntary. I don't ask for money. I just help. But some people, they like to give me money. Now, when I mention money, everybody is thinking. The world is full of, the, there is plenty of money in the world. They are just waiting for honest people who know how to work to give the money properly. So if you are good, you have a good idea, good execution, money will come. Because there is plenty of money. You're looking for people who are reliable and can manage the money. Okay. You know what? 3 ABN of channel and all the other ministry for a satellite, they pay about half a million per channel per satellite. So how do they stay alive? Because there is plenty of money waiting for something. And this is chismis. I was wondering where the money of trade is. Because there, we used to have a satellite network here in Southeast Asia. It's called HCDM. But we ran out of money and we owe the satellite company like 8 million pesos. Because it's like half a million per month is to broadcast via satellite and the whole Southeast Asia can receive your channel for free, right? So I was wondering how come there is 3 ABN Latino, 3 ABN Life is 3 ABN so many. And I researched all of their board members. You know there is a board member in if you have ministry or a company, there is board members. I researched all of the names of their board members. One of their board members I saw their family has an income of $2 billion a year. And I looked at the financial statements of the Adventist Church, which they publish. The income, type, and offering of the whole world, Seventh-day Adventist Church, is also $2 billion a year. So that family can run the church. <laughs> Just one family has enough money, income, from selling bread and biscuits to give salary to all the teachers and the pastors and the directors and secretaries and the way. So there's a lot of money waiting for something to do. No problem about money. The problem is what to use, what to do with money. Okay. I hope we, we have not prayed yet. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to learn and to teach and to improve our talents. For your glory, we ask that you send Holy Spirit to inspire and to give efficiency to my students as they improve their talents for your work. You have wisdom and understanding. We totally depend on you. In this name we pray. Amen. <coughs> okay, I'm supposed to check attendance. Okay, let's first the attendance. Okay, I will check attendance later. Last time, okay, let's see the I study. When I think I study, it gets all the people who are enrolled and puts them in class. And those who are not enrolled, it removes them. So try to finish your enrollment. But you can also sing. If you go to, if you go to IOLIS personnel, there is some kind of sync. It will also do it. So if you recently enrolled, like a few minutes ago, to finish the enrollment, then you want to be included, you can just sing by yourself, it will sing the whole class. So, after syncing the whole class, I'm going to show the I study because most of the class were not here. You please go there and then you download the syllabus. For teachers, the way to go into I study is different, a little different. But inside is the same. So this is the subject, the class, I put here the syllabus, if you haven't downloaded, you can download, because the lag of the download of the syllabus I will submit it to you. Yeah. And then we are here, because <laughs> Ellen G. White says, 
It should be the work of every teacher to make prominent those truths that have been called out as a particular people before them. So we are discussing the syllabus. The first word of the syllabus is Adventist University. We are still discussing the Adventist. Let me ask those who were here last time, what number did this end? Or you forgot? Sino yung nandito last time? somewhere here in okay we will just guess probably we, we arrived here we were created perfect but because of sin <clears throat> we are dying and we are prone to to commit mistake yeah, nature of man but because God wants to help us God is reconciling the world to himself and the Holy Spirit helps the penitent, you know penitent, those who know they are, they are sinners and who are uh, uh, yeah, penitent. No matter how many foolish things you have done, you just uh, repent to God, ask God for forgiveness, and God will clean you, you know, clean. Do you understand clean? Like, there is no sin. Yeah, if we have no sin. That's the great miracle, right? Do you like that? Of course. We all need. <laughs> we all need that one. And the Holy Spirit help restores the penitent to the image of God. Yeah. So we are called to love God and to love one another. Yeah. And care for environment. Yeah. Okay. That's why we are using uh, computers instead of paper to care for environment now. <clears throat> Great controversy. I think we are rich here. Who is going to win the great controversy? Of course, God. Because God is very powerful. Check my test. I am supposed to keep this. Okay. If you think you are handsome and beautiful, be careful. That's what happened to Satan. <laughs> Diba? Are you happy you are not handsome? Okay. We, if we are not handsome, we, are not, uh, we will not be tempted to be proud. But some people are proud even if they are not handsome. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So Satan became the rebel, rebel, rebel in heaven. And he tempted Adam and Eve. So if Satan tempts us, how do we avoid? By quoting the Bible. If the Bible te Satan tempted Jesus, Jesus said, it is written. And so many people were thinking of evil in Genesis 6, so God decided to format the world with water. That's why we have rainbow now. It's a promise that there will never be a worldwide flood. That was in Genesis 6. And this world, do you know that we are all actors and actresses? <clears throat> and this world is a theater. And who are the viewers? The subscribers are the whole universe. <laughs> they are looking at us in CCTV. <laughs> there is a CCTV and they are looking at all of us. Nakakahiya yung ginagawa natin dito, no? Nakikita, they are, we are being observed by other worlds and the angels. So we are all in the middle of this great controversy, <coughs> conflict. Yeah. But God will win. And the issue of the great controversy is, who will we obey? Because the Bible says, him, how do you search in the Bible? You just type Bible, him who we obey are servants of. You just type whatever you remember in the Bible. Oh, it says here in Romans 6, Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey? His servants ye are to whom ye obey. Okay. If we follow Satan's idea, we are servants of Satan. If we follow God's idea, we are servants of God. Simple, right? And that is the great controversy. Who will we obey? Who will we believe? <clears throat> and 
Where did sin originate? In heaven or in Garden of Eden? According to the Bible, it is Satan, Lucifer, who invented sin in heaven. And then he came down and tempted Adam and Eve. So even in heaven, sin cannot be explained. <clears throat> there is no explanation for sin. Otherwise, it will not be sin. Okay. Don't worry. Even if we die, we can be resurrected. Oh, no, no. We, we are talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ resurrected himself. That's why we should be sip sip to Jesus Christ. Right? Because he can resurrect. He is the strongest power. God's word is very powerful, my friend. That's why I'm telling you how to... I tell you about God, God's word because God's word can resurrect us. Oh, very powerful. <clears throat> when we die, if we die, no problem. Experience of salvation. Yan. Everybody needs this. You know what, class? For us Christians, whether we will backslide or not, it depends on whether we understand the Bible or not. Because Jesus said in the parable in Matthew 12, those who do not understand, the, the enemy comes, it's like the birds. The birds are I know, picking the seeds that were in the road. The, the enemy is the bird. The enemy will, will get them. But those who understand, they are fruitful. Yeah, they're 10 times, 30 times, 60 times. <clears throat> So the difference is the people who, don't, who understand, they are fruitful in their ministry. The people who don't understand, they backslide. They leave the church. They, do, they go to the world, become worldly. So the difference between those who become worldly and get lost and those who are fruitful and uh, are saved is the understanding. Right? Those who don't understand, get lost. Those who understand. That's why we have to <clears throat> help people understand. And just help and help and help. Unlimited. How are we saved? We are saved by grace. It is free. And not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Yeah? So if somebody tries to sell you salvation, you don't have to pay. The Bible says it is free. Ephesians 2.8. Yeah? But Ephesians 2.10 says we are created for good works. And faith without works is dead. So the good works is an effect of uh, salvation. <clears throat> you all have accounting classes, right? You all have accounting classes. Why cannot we be saved uh, no, no matter how much good works? But why does the Bible say you, you are not saved by works? Because as I mentioned in my mind, because in, I, I mentioned a while ago already, because we are supposed to do good works by default. Dapat talaga mabait tayo. Pag gumawa tayong masama, negative sa accounting, di ba? Negative entry. We should be always, ano, credit. So, <clears throat> since we are supposed to be good, no matter how much good we do, it will not reverse our evil. We have to be forgiven by God and then forgiveness only comes by repentance and God, forgiveness is free. God write off. Diba sa accounting may write off? If you have utang, you can be written off. When we repent, no matter how big our, <coughs> our ano, neg debit, God writes off. Imagine. You owe 70 million. When we repent, 70 million pesos of sins. When you repent, God erases like this. You have to understand this. When we repent, God erases anything that is all our sins. Yeah. Very simple. Just erase. Yeah? You understand? Okay. If you are not saved, then it's your problem. <laughs> but this is what the Bible says. When we re Though your sins be as scarlet, I will make them as white as snow. And then God throws them around in the bottom of the sea or something like that. <clears throat> That's why also we forgive others for their sins. Diba? 
You forgive others because God forgave you. You know what the Bible says? If you don't forgive others, God will unforgive. Do you know that is the theology of unforgive in the Bible? Yes, God forgave you. <clears throat> there is a story where the servant was imprisoned because he owed the master a lot of money. And then the master forgave him out of prison. And then he met somebody who was smaller debt, may utang sa kanya. Sabi niya lang sa ano yung pinapabayaran ko sa'yo. Sabi, sabi nung king, Pinap, ano, I, I, I forgave this guy, but he's not forgiving the other guy who owes him less. And you should return to prison. So God unforgave the sin. We forgive others because God forgives us also. And that's why that is the hope <clears throat> of being escaping judgment. And okay, experience of salvation. So when we repent, God erases our sins. Wow, shh, ganun lang, oh, erase. You cheated, you pirated software, you view bad video in YouTube, etc. When we repent, God erase that from YouTube history. <laughs> no, you have to erase your YouTube history also. <clears throat> but in the record of heaven, God erases those things. Wow, amazing. <clears throat> we have to understand that because we all need justification. And then, if we sin the next day, it's called uh, we are justified. There is a symbol in in Bible. It's called baptism. That's why the, we baptize. Because the, in Bible, they baptize. It's like you die to your old self. And then, when you come out of the water, it's like washing machine. God's washing machine is in the church. You will baptize like this, and then like that. It's a symbol. <clears throat> there are many evil, bad people who I saw, when they come out of the water, they are not saying bad words anymore. They are not quarreling their wife anymore. They stop drinking. They used to smoke. After coming out of the water, they, they are not interested to smoke anymore. So the, it's salvation works. God's forgiveness works. It changes people. <clears throat> I saw also people who are possessed by evil spirit. And when they baptize, there is no more evil spirit possession. So I saw that with my own eyes as a kid. Very interesting. So don't, be, don't worry about evil spirits. God has stronger power. OK. <clears throat> Growing in Christ. Oh, I have not finished. So there is what we call uh, justification. When we repent and we baptize, God forgives us our sins. Sanctification. Because we are not yet perfect, we still need to continue to learn and to continue to correct ourselves. God, Holy Spirit tells us what's wrong with us. And then we stop pirating software, we stop saying bad words, we stop looking at the bad things in the internet, etc. As the Holy Spirit fixes us continuously. And there is glorification when Jesus comes. And God will change our body. I will be macho. And uh, <laughs> those who don't have hair will have hair, diba? Those who are not handsome, uh, those who are not handsome, you have to eat of the vegetarian food in heaven. And the Bible says we will be, I uh, know, we will be healed from our curse. You know, we are all small. I am like 5'11", but Adam and Eve was 15 and 12, so... As we eat of the leaves of the tree in heaven, we will be healed. The nations will be healed, according to the Bible. Next, growing in Christ. <clears throat> Have you memorized the Bible? Uh, that's why we still need to grow. Because we forget, diba? Do you remember what you ate the other day? If we cannot remember even what we ate, how can, how can we remember even what the Bible says? That's why we have this fundamental belief is the newest fundamental belief. <clears throat> it is separated in, there's two parts of this. The number one part is that we should not be, uh, we are not, uh, we should not be afraid of demonic spirits. <clears throat> because, see, God is stronger. There are two times good angels than bad angels. And, and when we call on God, the evil angels has no choice but to live. Because we made decision. In the great controversy, there are rules of engagement. Whoever we call on, the other party has to leave. When we call on God, 
evil angels has to leave. When we call on, <laughs> when we follow the evil angels, good angels also have to leave. So it is, we have the decision. We have to decide who to follow. <clears throat> Yan. So we are not, we should not be afraid because God is stronger. That is the first part of this belief, of this understanding. And because we don't know everything, we have to continue going to church, reading the Bible, singing, and ano pa, meditating on His Word, and participating in the mission of the church. Yan. <clears throat> if you don't know your mission in the church, you just ask God. It's very, you know, life is very simple. You don't know what to do, you ask God. You don't know what to do in church, you ask God. You are bored, you ask God what to do. And God will give you idea. God is alive. He answers if we ask. That's what I do. I don't know what to do with the camera. I don't know what to do with ministry. But when I have nothing to do, I ask God. And God gives idea. And then when I follow that idea, I am very happy. And uh, many people are blessed. So his life is simple. Just ask God what to do. <clears throat> what if you don't know what to do? You ask God what to do. What if you don't know what to ask God? Then you ask God what to ask. <laughs> diba? Because if you ask, sometimes I am asking, Lord, I have this idea, please bless. Now I am the God. I am the one who is telling God what to do. But sometimes it's better, most of the time it's better, Lord, what do you want me to do? I observe this, what do you want me to do? Then God will give you idea, and you ask, Lord, help me to do this idea that you gave me. Of course, God will answer because it's his idea, right? So it's better to ask God what to do than to tell God what to do. In my observation, yan. church, <clears throat> everybody who believes Jesus Christ from Adam until the end of the world is included in the church. Yan. Old Testament, New Testament, until now. <clears throat> Whether you go to PIC or you go to your church in your house, in the Bible there is a church in the house of like this. <clears throat> or putin kahoy, or muson, or uh, as long as you believe Jesus Christ, you are part of the church. But there is also a fake church. Oh. How do you know the true church from the fake church? It depends what they are teaching. Yeah? It, if you follow, if you teach what is in the Bible, then you are true church. If you teach uh, things that are not in the Bible, then uh, you are the the Bible also describes those church, those church. They want to be called Christians, but they are not obeying. <clears throat> it is the fake church. Because Satan wants to fake everything. God says salvation is true, uh, is free. But Satan says, if you do fundraising, <laughs> you will be saved. Okay. So Satan wants to fake everything, including the church, including God has true prophets. Satan has false prophets. God has true worship. Satan has false worship. God has invented marriage between man and woman. Satan also tried to modify marriage because uh, <clears throat> God has example for, Bible has example for baptism. Satan wants uh, to save water and uh, change it. Yeah? So <clears throat> even if it look, looks good, if it's not according to the Bible, the Bible says there is no light in them. Isaiah 8.20 <clears throat> to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to his, this word, it is because there is no light in them. Looks good, but not according to the Bible. It's not God's will. Okay. We are not sure. <clears throat> Bible has 33,103 verses. Spirit of prophecy has 2,000. Oh, by the way, my master's uh, final thesis, uh, whatever project, is an index to Ellen G. White writing. So I scanned all of Ellen, I copy and pasted all of my white writings, and I scanned them, separated them in paragraphs, and my program found out Ellen G. White writings published works <coughs> are 250, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> 250,000 paragraphs. Bible is 33,103 verses. Ellen G. White writings is 250,000 paragraphs. <clears throat> of course, there are rep repetitions. But the Bible also has repetition, right? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. 
they are repeating so many of the stories. <clears throat> so, Bible has 33,103 verses. Spirit of Prophecy, Ellen White has 250,000 verses. <clears throat> if you want to do something, you look for it there, and you will be sure that it is God's will. If it's not there, probably it's not God's will, even if it looks nice. So, God has revealed His will. Why are we thinking of other things? <clears throat> if we think of other things, that means we are better than God. Oh, diba? <clears throat> remnant. You know what? In the Bible, there are many remnant. When there are many people and everybody is foolish, some people are good. That's what you call the remnant. So it happens in Bible history. The world became foolish, but Noah and his sons are the remnant. The world became foolish, but Israel is the one that is not doing idolatry. The Israel became a remnant. Israelites started to do foolishness. But the Christians are obeying God's uh, thus saith the Lord instead of the Pharisees thus saith the Pharisee. Because the Pharisees made their own policy. <laughs> and they worship the policy more than they worship God's word. So the Christians became the remnant. Now <clears throat> the Christians were infected with all these ideas that are not in biblical. And the remnant now are the people who are Christians who are following the Bible, diba? So in the end, there will be a people, if you look at Bible history, there will be a people, <clears throat> because in the end, there will be so much evil, there will be people who are following the Bible. That is the remnant. And the remnant is not remnant just so that you can be called remnant. They have a mission. You know what the, the Jews were Bible studying? That's studying the Bible, praying, fasting. And then that's the end. They are not doing missionary work. So they got lost. When Jesus came, Jesus was doing missionary work. He has more subscribers. <laughs> he has more views. Because he is doing missionary work. People love Jesus more than the Pharisees. Because we are supposed to do missionary work. It has to be balanced. You study, you fast, you pray, and then you do missionary work. So that is what the Jews missed. And in the end, we should be doing missionary work. <clears throat> and that's why I like to buy cameras and like to help the people who are doing missionary work. Unity in the body of Christ. Jesus is the boss. We are the branches. Even if we come from different uh, countries, some are rich, some are poor. And baptism, I told you already, the Bible says, Repent and be baptized, and your sins will be forgiven. Why did Jesus get baptized, even if he has no sin? For an example, yeah, so that we will follow. So, if you get baptized, Jesus goes, when Jesus got baptized, does that mean that he has sins? No. He, he said, let it be for now. Actually, John the Baptist did not want to baptize him. He said, you should baptize me. I'm not the one who baptized. Jesus said, no, you just do it uh, to fulfill all righteousness. So, John the Baptist baptized Jesus, even if Jesus has no sin. <clears throat> for an example, Lord's Supper. And we have this uh, uh, program in the church. Because Jesus said, you do this often in remembrance of me. So from time to time we do that. We repent and then we eat that bread that has no yeast and uh, grape juice. Communion is open to all believing Christians. Spiritual gifts and ministries, yeah, everybody has something to do. You just ask God what to do. Some are, have faith, some are good in healing, some in prophecy some in proclamation, some in teaching, some administration, some reconciliation, <clears throat> some compassion, some self-sacrificing service, and charity. Those are all in the Bible. Do you want to be prophet, class? Do you want to be prophet? You don't know? You know what? We are all supposed to be prophet. Because the Revelation 10 says, <clears throat> that you will see the prophecy book, you eat it will taste good in the mouth, 
when you swallow, it will be bitter. But that is the 1844 experience. But the, but the last verse says, you must prophesy again. Even if we were wrong in 1844, the Adventists were wrong in 1844, the Bible says you must prophesy again. That means <clears throat> we have to tell the world Jesus is coming soon. Do you know that the second coming is a prophecy? So Seventh-day Adventists, just by their name, we are supposed to be prophets. We are supposed to tell the world, actually our name, Adventist, it means that Jesus is coming soon. So just by our name, we are already, it's already a prophecy, and we are supposed to be prophets. We should not prophesy things that are not in the Bible, because in the Old Testament, prophets who prophesy things that are not God's, from God does, the penalty is death. If you claim to be uh, saying this is God wants, but you are telling things that are not according to the Bible, the Bible's uh, penalty for that is death. Of course not now, maybe later. Yan. So everybody should be true prophet. Let us only say things that are in the, prophesy things that are according to the Bible. Yan. Okay. So everybody class has, a, has something to do. Nobody will reach heaven who is lazy. Everybody is, I know, everybody is getting somebody else. Gift of prophecy. How do you know? Diba, the Bible has 66, how many books does the Bible have, sir? 60 something books, 66 books. Okay, it's very easy. These days you don't have to memorize anything. Just ask Google, how many books in the Bible? <coughs> 66 books. Imagine you get into the library, the Dead Sea Scrolls. There are Greek, there is a cave where all the scrolls are Greek. There is a cave where all the scrolls are Hebrew. And you read all of them, they look like the Bible. Then it verifies the Bible. But how do you know which one to put in the Bible? How do you know which of the books to include in the Bible? How do you know which one is God's book? Why do you know which one is not God's book? That is the question, right? How did they come up with the Bible? The Bible is a books, bo compilation of books that, that cross about 1,700 years of writing. Most of them, they don't know each other. So it's like a library. But how do they know what books to include in the Bible and what books not to include in the Bible? That was my question. Then I realized this one. <clears throat> the Bible says, God will not leave himself without a witness. So in every generation of history, there is always a prophet who is telling God, uh, who is telling the people, this is God's will. Yeah? For example, in the time of Moses, Moses was there. Did they believe Moses? Yes. Why? Because he comes with a rod bec that becomes snake. <laughs> right? Did they believe Abraham? Yes, because everybody is from Abraham, right? Father Abraham, everybody's descendant of Abraham, then whatever Abraham says, he is a man of faith. Do they believe Adam? Yes, because Adam was talking to God. He was the first creation. So whatever Adam said, they all believe, right? So Adam lived 900 something years. He, had, he was preaching to all his descendants. This is God, what God, this is what happened to us, why we fell into sin. This is God, what God said, what God said, what God said just by telling. So <clears throat> if Enoch says something that is not according to what Adam said, they know Enoch is lying. How do they know Enoch is telling the truth? Because they heard Adam. You have a reference, right? You know Adam is telling the truth because he met God himself. So if Enoch says something that is not according to Adam, uh, Enoch is lying. But if Enoch is saying everything according to what Adam was saying, which he heard from God personally, then Enoch is true prophet, right? So if Adam dies, Enoch now is living. Now everybody believes Enoch because everything Enoch says is also what Adam was saying. So there is a witness still. What if God took away Enoch? So who do we? There maybe God will provide another prophet. So there is a reference. There are many people who are talking, but you know somebody who you are sure. Alam ba, Moses. Moses is there. 
If you don't know what to do, you ask Moses. Because Moses is saying the same things that Abraham was saying, that Enoch was saying, that Adam was saying. So how do they, how are they sure that Malachi, uh, uh, ano Samuel, and uh, David, and Song of Solomon, and Esther, how do, I, how do they know that they are true writings? If they agree with those that are sure previously, you understand? They agree with Adam, they agree with Abraham, they Moses, and so on. How do you know John, Matthew, Mark, Luke are true? Because they agree with Moses, with Isaiah, with Jeremiah. So that's how it is. How do you know if I am, if Sir Pasamba is telling the truth? If I agree with the Bible, right? How do you know Ellen White is telling the truth? You read the Bible, you read her writings, and you will know if they agree if they are according. So anybody who talks, how do you know if they are telling truth or not? You go to where you are sure. You go to Bible and you compare. If you don't know, then you will be, you will be deceived. That's why, <clears throat> that's how they collected the Bible. And that's how we also, that's how we judge who is telling the truth now and who is not telling the truth now. Because Prophets are not supposed to contradict the old prophets. Do you know that one? The new prophet should not contradict the old one. Jesus himself said, I come not to destroy the law and the prophets, but I come to fulfill. So it's Jesus himself, God, he says, I do not contradict the prophets. You know why? Because prophecy is all from God, the true prophecy. So newer prophet will not contradict the old prophet. Diba, diba, no? So, ganyan ang ganda. If we contradict, then we are being not true prophet. Okay, let me see the time. Eight. I have 30 minutes more. <laughs> Law of God. Number one. Do you memorize the Ten, ten Commandments? We should put the Ten Commandments somewhere here. Okay, I will recite to you the Ten Commandments from Google. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh, Ten Commandments is in Exodus 20. <clears throat> uh, I like the King James Version. And let's read. My favorite website for the Bible is called <clears throat> Bible Hub. Because Bible Gateway has too many advertisements. Okay, this is the Ten Commandments, my friends. There is a quiz. It's open notes. The notes are the Ten Commandments. Oh, the quiz is life. The notes are the Ten Commandments. The judgment is coming. Where will we be judged? This is the questionnaire, and this is the answer. So we are in a, no, we are in a course. The course is called life. These are the notes, and this is the cheat sheet. There is no cheating. <clears throat> it's open notes, diba? Do you like a quiz that is open notes? You know what? Oh, just ano lang. This is comment. I think chat GPT changed the academics. You don't... And the internet changed also life. I don't agree with memorizing things. Because you can just ask the internet, right? It's, I, I think quizzes that are uh, about memorizing are useless things. And examination that are memorizing are useless things, you know, are artificial things. Because through life, there is internet, diba? Did, can you find a work that has no internet? You can always ask, diba? In the office, you have internet. So it's the quiz and the exam that are depending on memorizing. In my personal opinion, they are artificial. <laughs> they are not real life situation, right? Who needs uh, to memorize when you can ask anything? <clears throat> but someday the internet will is not working and uh, okay anyway that but we want to read it because god's word is very interesting god's words make us intelligent and thou shalt not have no other gods before me <clears throat> thou shalt not number two thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any like this of the things that are in heaven or the things that are earth beneath or the things that are under the water and under the earth Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord, am God, and jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children and of the third and fourth generation. 
and showing mercy upon thousands of them who love me and keep my commandments. <clears throat> okay, thou shalt not, OMG, oh, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Do you understand this class? So if you find in the internet, OMG, OMG, you paste this immediately in the comment, <laughs> and you will be persecuted like all the other prophets. <clears throat> Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In him thou shalt not do any work, not thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant and maidservant, cattle, stranger within thy gate. <clears throat> I have a question. How about the computer? How about the computer? Can we ask the computer to work on Sabbath? Sir, what do you think? You know what? I have an answer. I don't know if it's correct. God tells us, do not work. God tells the cattle, do not work. But the river is working. The sun is working. Yeah? Rain is working. Sun is working. Air is working. Our lungs are working. Heart is working. So, <clears throat> because God created us, God has the right to say which works and which doesn't work. Which should not work. Right? Why? Because God created who created computer? Uh, so we have the right to tell what the, what the computer should do on Sabbath or not, right? Because we are the... But us, who has the right to say? Did we create ourselves? No. So we have to obey God. Computer has to obey human because we made the computer. But us, we have to obey God because God is the one who made us, right? Okay. Ano pang tatanong ko? Where is the ano here? Where is the wife? How come wife is not uh, mentioned? <laughs> Diba? Thou, nor thy son, daughter, manservant, maidservant, even the cow is there. And the stranger is there. That's why we don't allow Lazada and Shapi to come inside the gate. <laughs> On Sabbath, right? <clears throat> Where is the wife? Okay, if you find the wife in this verse, I will, I will uh, give you ano. Uh, one point in Bible class, not here. <laughs> Where is the wife? Can you find the wife? No. So the wife is exempted? What do you think, class? <clears throat> Sabihin nyo pag sirit na kayo. I will show you where is the wife there. You cannot find the wife, right? But it's there. I will show you. When you give up, you, you tell me and I will show you. Let me see if you will find the wife there. <laughs> no, it's just here in the 8 to, 12, 8, to, 8 to 11. Do you find the wife there? So that's the wife, is, is the wife exempted to, from keeping Sabbath? <clears throat> when you, tell me when you are finished. If, if you cannot find it, I will tell you where it is. Sirit? Sirit? Ano, ano, sabi niya, ano, sabi niya? Nakita niya ba yung wife dyan? Saan yung woman? Maid, servant yun, katulong yun eh. Katulong, it's the servant. Sirit? Oh, sige, hanapin niya yung wife dyan. <clears throat> hanapin niya yung wife. You look for the wife, my friends. Why the wife is not there? Sabihin nyo, sumirit na kasi kayo. <laughs> huh? Ano daw sabihin? I don't understand. She's at home. She's at home? Of course, they are within the gates. <laughs> Even the stranger, as long as there is... Problem if you have big gate, yeah? Everybody's inside. <laughs> oh, sirit na kasi kayo. I will tell you. Sirit? See it? You give up looking for the wife or you find it? Yeah, that means God created all. But? Yeah, but God created the river also and the heart and the lungs. They are all, some of them are working on the Sabbath, some are not. But 
How about the wife? Is the wife supposed to not work on the Sabbath? Okay, Sirit na, Sirit? Saan? Sige. Uh, That's one possible answer. But I will tell you where I found the wife here. Before, I also used to wonder, where is the wife? I will tell you where it is. It is... Uh, where it is? It's here. Thou. You know what thou means? You. <laughs> so, the husband is not also here. The wife is not also here. But you, you includes everybody. Diba? Thou is you. Thou. So God is talking to everyone. The husband is not mentioned. The wife is not mentioned. But thou means you. So you is everybody, right? So everybody, <laughs> the wife is included in thou, unless you don't think you are a person or something. But everybody is thou. Thou includes the husband and the wife. So this command is given to the husband and the wife, and everybody else under them, which of course they are also included in thou, but they are special mention, since sometimes they don't understand. <laughs> Maybe the wife doesn't, uh, the daughter doesn't understand, or the manservant, or the, but this is given to you, to thou. So the wife also is included in Sabbath keeping, Every, everybody. Thou means everyone. <clears throat> okay. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thy days may belong upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Okay. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. This one everybody believes. Thou shalt not steal. Ah. The Bible, Jesus said, the Bible says, it is written, thou shalt not kill. But if you say bad words to your neighbor, you are in danger of judgment. Yeah. If you say bad things, it's like you are killing, diba? Oh, you know, one time, I went to the atheist group, <laughs> Facebook, and I told them, class, I told them, why are you laughing? I told them, I know, you know, I have a Windows computer, but I don't believe Microsoft exists. And then they are liking my post because they said, I don't believe it exists. Then they realize I'm making fun of them. Because I'm using a Microsoft PowerPoint, and then I made a slide. Microsoft doesn't exist, but I'm using Microsoft PowerPoint. And then I put another post. I have an Apple computer, and then I made a keynote slide. Apple doesn't exist, oh, but using the Apple computer. <laughs> so <laughs> when they realized what I was doing, <laughs> first of all, they saw it doesn't exist, they like. But they realized this guy is making fun of us. They send all the bad words in the whole in the dictionary, on whatever bad word they invented, they send it all to my private message. <laughs> so in one Sabbath, you know, in Facebook, you can block people. I block like lo this long of people. Because all those the people who, they, don't, they, be, they, they know there is God. They just hate the idea. They all send all their evil words to me in private message. <laughs> So people who don't, who don't like God, they are full of bad words. Whether things in the dictionary and things not in the dictionary. Then I believe that Jesus, what Jesus was saying, if you say bad words to your neighbor, you, it's like you are killing them. And Jesus expanded these Ten Commandments. He said, it is written, thou shalt not commit adultery, but I say unto you, if you look on a woman with lust. Okay, now the question, my friends. Who is... Committing adultery. Jesus said, if you look at a woman with lust in your heart, you are committing adultery with her. So who is uh, committing adultery? The man or the, the one who is looking or the one who is... Uh, uh, I know. The woman or the man? The man? Woman, do you agree? Both. both. Oh, both. He has better answer. Kasi kasi, Jesus said, with. You cannot commit adultery alone. Can you commit adultery alone? <laughs> with. Yes, sir. Pareho. Kasi with. Eh. No, but the, you know, there in sin, there is progression. There is sin in the mind. <clears throat> Jesus said, you are committing adultery in your heart. 
And then there is sin that you really do. Like, the, parang sakit yun eh. Hindi mo pa alam, pero may cancer ka na. And then there is symptoms. So what happens are just symptoms of what is wrong with, your, with our mind. But Jesus knows there is something already wrong, even if we haven't done. That's sin in their heart. Okay. Thou shalt not commit adultery. So, men, you should not look at women. Yeah? Look, just look in the ceiling like this. So that you will not commit adultery, and so that we, the women will not commit adultery. And the women, you should, uh, no, you should put your umbrella like this. You should hide always. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Thou shalt not steal. Okay. Now how do we expand this one? Ah, Thou shalt not pirate. Oh, Thou shalt not pirate Photoshop, Premiere. Ah. What else do you pirate class? E-books, PDF, MP3. No, not MP3. Uso pa ba MP3 ngayon? With ads, no more MP3. They just put ads. Ano bang pinaparate natin? Windows? Microsoft Office, oh, bumbuti na lang. You know what? After preaching 20 years here in AOP, <clears throat> now everybody has a license for Microsoft Office. If you are enrolled in AOP, you automatically have a license for Microsoft Office 365 for five devices. So you can license your uh, dad's computer, your mom's computer, your computer, your other computer, <laughs> your grandpa computer. So everybody who is enrolled in college has a five, a five device license for Office 365, which normally costs like 2,000 peso per year, which is included in your internet fee. Yung Windows na lang ang problema, but you buy a new computer, it has Windows, yeah? Now, if you don't buy the cheapest one, like the next to the cheapest one that has Windows, <clears throat> it already includes a licensed digital uh, registered version of Windows. So, and if you don't want to pay uh, Photoshop, you can have a hard time with uh, an alternative, GIMP. <laughs> if you don't want to pay for Adobe Premiere, uh, everybody is now shifting to DaVinci Resolve. So there are free alternatives. We don't need to steal, right? And you know what? When I was second year college, I decided the Holy Spirit convict me to stop using pirated software. So I stopped using pirated software two years before there was an e-commerce law that specified that one. <clears throat> and thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 8.16. Thou shalt not covet oh, thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant nor his ox, nor his cow, because you might hear me say something else here, nor anything that is thy neighbor. Okay, that is the Ten Commandments. Congratulations. In the Adventist uh, education system, we, they, I was asked to memorize that elementary, high school, but in college, we are expected to memorize. Okay, law of God. <clears throat> and Sabbath has a special mention. If it's already in the Ten Commandments, it's there. Okay, Sabbath. <clears throat> what do we say about Sabbath class? The Bible says, if you keep your feet from doing your own travels, your words from stalking your own words, and call the Sabbath a delight, you will reach heaven. Oh, something like that, Isaiah. Right? That, that is the promise in Isaiah. <clears throat> I have a book. I will give you a... I, I have a book class, and I will give you the copy of the book. My book is very difficult to read. It is the most difficult book to read. You know what is the topic in my book? You know what is the topic? I'm even having a hard time how to say it to you. <laughs> you know what? The Sabbath will be the biggest test in the last days because it is about worship. Oh, worship. My name is Pasamba. So almost worship, yeah? 
<coughs> Sabbath will be the biggest test in the last days. Because it is about worship. Who do we worship? Who do we follow? And I'm going to say something very hard, but I only have two minutes. <coughs> Can you listen? I don't know how to say I will just say because I have two, mini two minutes. I don't have time to be tactful. I will just tell what the Bible says. The Bible says we are not supposed to cook food on the Sabbath. The spirit of prophecy says we are not supposed to cook food. Cooking food is sin, the Bible says. Cooking food is sin on the Sabbath. The spirit of prophecy says cooking food is sin. Those who cook food who don't do prepare food is uh, transgress the law of God. Adventist.org officially says that those we should prepare our food before the Sabbath. But all Filipinos, they don't know. <laughs> I was debating with my friend who was telling me this, but I had to look for official statement. So I researched, you know, I am Googler. I know, I am Komsai. I know how to use the internet for research. I cannot find an official statement of the church that says we can cook on Sabbath. But all the Filipinos, Adventists, they don't know this one. They all give wrong answers, unofficial wrong answers. Even PhDs in theology, they give wrong answers, unofficial. They are PhD, but they are not official answer. All the official answers, Bible, Spirit of Prophecy, Adventist Review, Adventist.org, the books, they, Ellen G. White, they all say and agree with the Bible that we should cook the Sabbath food before the Sabbath. So <clears throat> I changed my position because I cannot contradict the Bible. I cannot contradict the older prophets, Ellen White. I cannot contradict official statements in the church. Even if I have five PhDs, I cannot do that, right? I cannot successfully fight the truth. So now I am telling people what the official statement is, what the Bible says. And everybody wants to obey, but they don't know how because nobody told them before. So I have a list of things here. I, have a, I, I made a list of things that I observed how people avoid cooking on the Sabbath. And <clears throat> so many people, official people, lame people, etc. They know how to avoid cooking on the Sabbath. And I assume that everybody wants to obey, but people don't know what to do because their food will spoil. So I collected all of this, and I, I share it with other people. If you want to read the official statements, I also collected them because there are many false prophets who are telling <coughs> Things that are not official, things are against the Bible. So the Bible says, bake that which you will bake. Sith, Sith is pakuluan, bake is oven. And the remainder, yung tira, you eat it in the morning. <clears throat> but the Israelites did not understand. Hindi nila na gets. So God said, how long will you refuse to keep my commandments? Whose commandment is that? Is it commandment of Moses? No, God was calling Mo scolding Moses. Is it the commandment of Pharisees? No, there were no Pharisees at Exodus 16. It is, God says, it is my instruction. What does Ellen White say? Those who neglect to prepare, prepare pala ang technique. And who cook food on the Sabbath violate the fourth commandment and are transgressors of God's law. What does, uh, <clears throat> what does Adventist.org say? The buying and preparation, so you are not supposed to buy food on Sabbath, uh, Jollibee, whatever, pizza. <clears throat> but but the, the buying is based on Nehemiah. Nehemiah scolded the merchants who are waiting outside the gate of AUP. <laughs> Nehemiah chapter 13, he said, you close the gate because the merchants are carrying uh, e-commerce <laughs> through the gate on the Sabbath. <laughs> you close the gate and then the merchants stayed they had camping outside the gate. Nehemiah shouted to them, don't camp outside the gate, Lazada and Shapi. If you camp there, I will lay my hands on you. You read in Nehemiah 13. Therefore, we are not supposed to buy and, buy and prepare food 
We should buy and prepare food before the Sabbath. That is the official statement from the website. Even if you look in the BRI, same thing. In the archives, same thing. In the book, it says those who prepare should do it before so, so that they can rest also. <clears throat> if you look at the mission reports, people know that also. If you look in the Tagalog document, I found this. I went to Magallanes. I entered the church late. When I entered, a woman, old woman, was reading here. Uh, uh, no, he was read, she was reading. Sabi niya, dapat <clears throat> tingnan ng ina na nakahanda na ang pagkain. So, and then I, mom, what are you reading? I found a Tagalog document that is telling mothers to cook their food before the Sabbath. Therefore, we really forgot. We were taught before. This is an NPUM document published in <clears throat> 1968. So Tagalog is there, official documents yeah, by the NPUC is there. CLC Bible, you look in the, yung mga Bible na pinamimigay pag baptism, you look at the back, it's also there. Yeah. And then they have examples. Okay. The most difficult, 824. Sorry, I went over time. <clears throat> Okay, so I have tips here, <laughs> but the, the truth you cannot change. But to help people obey, that one is easier because you just copy what other people do and then it's easier. Everybody wants to obey. They are just stressed because their food will spoil. But it's very easy. Just put in the ref and then microwave. Oh, you, are, you can heat on the Sabbath. You can heat food. The difference between cooking and heating is Heating is allowed and cooking is not. Very simple. The rice cooker knows. Don't press. <laughs> the cook never press. The heat, don't press. It's just heat. Okay. So we have examples here. How did I find it? The examples, you just type tips how to avoid Sabbath cooking. And then my name. Okay, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to learn the truth that will, so that we will not be deceived by the enemy. As we continue to learn, be it blessed by students with wisdom and understanding in their course, and also, most importantly, spiritually. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> I should speak faster, and you should listen faster so that we will finish faster. <laughs> See you next uh, meeting class. Your assignment is to read the Ten Commandments and read the Bible. And Okay, read my tips, yeah? How to avoid. And look for uh, no, commercial opportunity to obey this one. Oh, many people want to obey, but if you sell something that helps them, I will tell you the, the, uh, no, the gap, the market uh, opportunity for this one. <laughs>